This is part 58 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to handle 404 errors, that is page not found errors in a centralized way in ASP.NET Core. Along the way, we'll also discuss these three middleware components that deal with status code pages in ASP.NET Core. There are two types of 404 errors. Type 1, resource with a specified ID does not exist. We discussed how to handle this type of 404 errors and display a more friendly and customized error view to the user in our previous video. And here is the second type. The URL does not match any route. For example, slash foo slash bar, this does not match with any route in our application. In this video, we'll discuss how to handle this type of 404 errors in a centralized way. If we take a look at startup.cs file, it contains our startup class and this class has the configure method. As discussed in our previous videos in this series, it is this method that sets up the HTTP request processing pipeline for our ASP.NET Core application. At the moment, we do not have anything configured within this HTTP request processing pipeline to handle 404 errors. So as a result, if we navigate to localhost colon port number slash foo slash bar, we see the browser default 404 error page. This is because this URL slash foo slash bar does not match with any routes in our application. Notice the HTTP status code is 404. These three status code pages middleware components are used to intercept and handle these non-success HTTP status codes in the range of 400 and 500. The least useful among these three is this use status code pages middleware component. To use this within our ASP.NET Core application, we have to configure it into the HTTP request processing pipeline. We do that within the configure method. So if the environment is development, then we want to use the standard developer exception page middleware. If it is any other environment like staging, UAT, production, etc., we want to use the status code pages middleware component. Notice from the IntelliSense, we see the three status code pages middleware components. Let's try the first one and see what we get. At this point, if we reload this page, notice we still see the browser default 404 page. This is because at the moment, our environment is still development. Let's change it to production. We do that in launch settings.json file. So for this IS Express profile, let's change the ASP.NET Core environment variable value to production. If we reload this page now, notice we see a simple text response, status code 404, not found. This is not very different from the browser default 404 page. So for this reason, we rarely use this use status code pages middleware component in a real world production application. Now, what we really want to be able to do is intercept these non-success HTTP status codes like this 404, for example, and then return our own custom error view. With our own view, we have complete control over what HTML we want to send back to the user. We can very easily achieve this by using any of these two middleware components. Let's first try out this status code pages with redirects component. So in the configure method, instead of using status code pages, let's use status code pages with redirects. With this middleware component, we can specify the URL that we want to go to if there is a non-success status code. For example, in our case, we want to go to error controller. We don't have error controller yet. We'll create it in just a bit. Within the error controller, we want to go to an action method that has the same name as the non-success HTTP status code. For example, if we have 404 status code, then within this error controller, we want an action method with name 404 to handle that. For that, I'm going to include a placeholder here. This placeholder automatically receives the non-success status code. For example, if we have 404, then the URL will be slash error slash 404. So our obvious next step is to add this error controller. Let's add it to the controllers folder. 
select controller class and let's name it error controller. We can name this action method anything we want. I'm going to name it HTTP status code handler. We are going to use attribute routing to get to this action method. If the route is error slash some non-success status code like 404, then we want this action method to be executed. Instead of hard coding the status code like this, let's use a placeholder. Now, if there is a 404 error, this parameter will automatically receive that non-success status code 404 and we want to pass that to this action method. Inside this method, we can now write our own custom logic to handle 404 status code. I'm going to use switch statement and switch on the status code parameter. If the case is 404, on the view bag object, let's include error message property and set it to, sorry, the resource you requested could not be found. Finally, let's use the break keyword and break out of this case statement. At the moment, as you can see, we are only handling the 404 status code. But you can see the pattern here. We can write our own custom logic to handle any of the non-success status codes in the range of 4 and 500. Finally, from this action method, we want to return our custom view not found. We don't have this view yet, so let's add it to the shared folder. Select Razor View, name it Not Found. First, let's set the page title. For that, let's use title property of the view bag object. Let's set page title to Not Found. Next, let's display the error message that we have in this error message property of our view bag object on our custom view. For that, let's use an H1 element. Finally, let's also provide a navigation link that allows the user to navigate to the home page. Here, we're using the ASP-Action and ASP-Controller tag helpers to navigate the user to the index action of our home controller. At this point, let's save all our changes and take a look at the browser. Notice, now, when we reload this page, we see our custom error view. When we click on this link, we are redirected to the home page where we see the full list of employees. If we try to navigate to any route that does not exist, we see the custom error view. At the moment, we are using use status code pages with redirects middleware to achieve this. If we want to achieve the same using this middleware component, then all we have to do is in startup.cs, instead of using status code pages with redirects middleware, use status code pages with re-execute middleware. Now let's click on this list navigation menu item. We see the list of employees as expected. Now let's try to navigate to a route that does not exist. Notice even now we see our custom error view as expected. From an end user standpoint, there's no difference in the behavior. So the obvious question that comes to our mind is, what's the difference between these two components and which one we should be using? We'll answer these two questions in our next video. Three simple steps to use these status code pages middleware components to handle 404 errors. Step one, include status code pages middleware component in your application's request processing pipeline. We do this in the configure method of the startup class. Step two, implement the error controller. And finally, implement the corresponding custom error view. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.